Ooh, close one. Okay, and uh, looks like our target is coming back this way, so let's just wait here until he goes on his patrol. Keeping an eye on this guy over here, because I think he turns around sometimes. And if that's the case, he might walk in here and spot us. Okay, where's this guy going? There's no flames on the floor near us. So his patrol is definitely not taking us this taking him this way. Or is it? Oh shit. No, thank god. Oh, he's gone that way. Okay, now let's sneak in behind him. And activate that checkpoint, just in case shit goes south. We've got a place where we can come back to and restore the save. With one target down. And there we go. Activate checkpoint. Checkpoint activated. Here we are at the checkpoint. We've eliminated one of our targets. Next step is to take out Mr. Landon Metcalf. And the way we're going to do it is by another gas explosion. It's not it's not original. It's been done many times before, but um, it's one of the old faithful techniques. So we're going to switch on this stove. Turn on the gas. Now we need to, now his patrol doesn't quite take him close enough to this stove to blow him up. So we need a, something to throw that we can, will the knife work? Yeah, the knife will do. So we can throw the knife at the stove, causing him to walk over to it. Okay, so let's try that. I'll stand over here. And, uh, and when he gets close, I'll throw the knife at the stove. He'll walk over, pick it up, and then we'll blow him sky high. Here we go. Just got to wait for him to stop dilly-dallying around downstairs. And he'll come upstairs and come this way, I think. Okay, there he is. He's going upstairs. Let's get the knife throw in position. Now we've got to make sure we don't accidentally hit the table or the roof, causing the knife not to go where we want it to. Okay, here he comes. Oh, he's going that way. Oh, he's going to the balcony first. Okay, we're just going to have to sit tight and wait for him to get into position. Okay, this is it. Landon Metcalf is walking our way. We've got our knife out ready. We'll throw the knife at the oven. He'll walk over, pick up the knife. We'll shoot the oven, and he will be blown sky high. Okay, let's just wait for him to turn around and start walking into this room. There we go. Knife thrown. Knife away. Okay, he's, he's heard it. Okay, get the guns out. Get the guns out. He's going to walk towards it. That's right. Check the knife, bitch. Kablam! Oh, yes! Signature kill. Silent assassin, here we come. Now, let's take a look. Who's going to come up and investigate? Nobody yet. The cops outside almost see us. But no, he doesn't care. And nobody inside cares either. I oh, know one guy's coming over to take a look. But there is another checkpoint downstairs. So, oh, no, I'm not sure I can get back out to that front bit. Because that cop's in the way. Hmm. Let's see if we can activate this checkpoint again. Right, so we're two for two. Final kill is, uh, is that last guy that goes on the really long patrol that comes around in front of the car here. Now, what I want to try is dropping this car on him. Unfortunately, the only way I can do that, I think, is by using distraction. Oh shit, the, the mechanic's going over there. Now, I have to be careful because I don't want to kill the mechanic. I want to kill my target. So I'm going to grab the wrench on the floor over there and try and distract the mechanic if he's standing underneath the car. Or I might even actually try and make the target check out the wrench. We'll have to see if that's possible. Just wait for the mechanic to turn around. There he goes. Okay, yeah. Make my move. 47. Dash out there. Here we go. Grab the wrench. Sweet. Get down. And we can pull the lever to drop this car on our target as soon as he comes over this way. So let's just 
wait until the right time. There he goes. Oh, look, see the flames on the floor are his patrol. Now, he walks along this way, but he never actually goes underneath the car. So what we're going to have to do is throw the wrench just as he gets here underneath the car. Hopefully, it will cause him to check that out. Okay, it's a long way for him to walk, so let's just speed up time until he gets here. Okay, so he's here, but the mechanic is also walking over towards the car. So let's just stay cool until we know what the mechanic's doing and we know what this guy's doing. Because once the mechanic walks away, we can throw our wrench and distract our target. So Gavin LeBlond walks underneath this green Cadillac and then we drop it on his head. Let's just wait for him to... Oh, he's making a phone call. The mechanic's walking away. Okay, turn around, turn around, Tyler, Gavin rather, Gavin LeBlond. As soon as he turns around, we'll stand up and, uh, and throw the wrench on the floor underneath the green Cadillac. Okay, there he goes. He's walking back that way. Wait for it, got to time this perfectly. Okay, and stand up. Throw the wrench. Duck. Ah, oh, shit. The wrench just went way, way out of the way which we wanted it to. And I think the cop's going to check it out and not our target. Crap. Yeah, there he goes. Shit. It looks like we are not dropping this car on our target. God damn it. Oh, well, never mind. We'll track this guy and see where he goes. Maybe there's another inventive way we can kill him accidentally. And keep the silent assassin bonus. Let's just wait for this cop to check out the wrench and, and walk away. Okay, he's turned around. So let's make our move. Oh, let's grab this hammer and sneak around here. Here we go. Now, oh, there's a cop there guarding the way. We have to distract him if we want to get through this gate. But oh, it looks like this leads to the junkyard. There must be a, a cool accidental way we can kill our target on the junkyard. So let's just throw this hammer over there. Distract the cop. That's right. Turn around, bitch. Chloe, someone's throwing stuff at me. Wait while I check it out. Okie doke, he's off to check it out. And then while he's away, we sneak through the door. Here we go. Ah oh, now what's this? Rig power cord to fence. Don't mind if I do. Sweet. So now we have an electric fence. And, uh, and this guy has a patrol that comes through this electric fence, so if I pull the lever while he's walking through, we'll trap him in an electric field and fry his ass. Let's just pick up that brick in case I need to make a distraction. Oh shit, almost got spotted. And let's just wait behind this van here until this guy comes back off his patrol. Gavin LeBlond, your time is up. As soon as he gets close to that fence, we'll throw the switch, pull the lever, and fry his ass. Here we go. I just hope it's class as an accidental kill, because they could technically check the fence and see that someone had wired it up. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that it's uh, treated as an accidental kill, and we don't lose our silent assassin bonus. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's just slow down time. Sneak him behind him. Wait for it. Wait for it. And pull the lever now. Zzz, zzz. Oh yes! Oh there he is, electrified. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's beautiful. Oh look at him fry. There we go. Target kill, signature kill, silent assassin bonus. Oh that's amazing. Okay, get get to the back entrance. Where is that? Oh it's right there. Oh sweet. That's really close. But the body's right. There. Oh shit! And the cops. The cop's looking at the body. How are we going to get past the cop? Shit. Luckily, I've got this brick. Maybe I can throw the brick and distract him like that. Let's try that. Th 
throw the brick over there, do you think? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, and... Bombs away! There we go. And the cop has totally ignored that brick that was thrown at his head. Shit. Well, maybe there's a way out this way. Uh, oh god, there's so many cops around here still as well. Shit. Let's tuck away our weapons. Let's grab that milk pipe. There we go. Now we can use this as a distraction. And then let's take a look at the cops' locations. Uh, none of them have come around this way. That cop is still stood there looking at that dead body. Maybe we can get around behind him, you know, actually. Let's try that, actually. It's super daring, but I think it's it's possible it might work. Shit, because he stood right there. Oh my god, but if we get too close... Ah, shit. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's try it. Sneaky, sneaky. Is it wide enough for us to get past? There we go. Oh, we did it! We did it! This is the exit! Pick the lock, 47. Pick the lock. Streets of Hope complete. Ah, oh, yeah. Silent Assassin bonus. Look at that score. That's a sky-high score. And we're in. Oh, shit, but there's goons all over the place. Let's just... Stick here. I've got to eliminate the rest of Lenny's gang, it looks like. But that's it for now. So let's just take a break there and uh, and call it. So I've been Shin. Thanks for watching. Hit like, favorite, and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, come back to us next time when we're killing more of Lenny's goons and hopefully killing Lenny himself. So uh, see you later, guys.